Catch up on the week that was on the Pittsburgh Wake Up Date. Start in the NHL, where so-called Phase 2 of its return to play plan commences Monday. That means team training facilities, like the Lemieux Sports Complex in Cranberry, will be open to players and staff. Activities remain voluntary, but players can skate in small groups and also work out off the ice individually. Also, the league clarified two things about its proposed 24-team Stanley Cup playoff. One, all rounds after the best of five opening qualifying round will remain best of seven series as usual. Two, teams will be reseeded after each round, not in a straight bracket as the league initially proposed. Of course, all of this is contingent on player health. The Penguins announced that a player currently out of town has tested positive for COVID-19. The team said the unnamed player is, quote, recovered and feeling well, end quote, but all who were in contact with him have been notified. There's no semblance of positive news for Major League Baseball. The impasse continues as the owners rejected the player's proposal for a 100-plus game season that could stretch the World Series as deep as December. MLB said it could shorten the season unilaterally to as few as 50 games if players don't agree to further salary reductions. With that in mind, there's a better than average chance the Riverhounds will be the first Pittsburgh pro team to return to action. The USL Championship last week announced a provisional start date of Saturday, July 11th. Reporting from The Athletic indicates the country's second-tier soccer league is aiming for something between a 16- and 20-game season. In college sports, legendary former Pitt football coach Johnny Majors died at age 85. The 1976 national championship highlighted his eight seasons leading the Panthers, split between two separate stints. And Robert Morris is on the hunt for a new conference with the Horizon League the top candidate. This from a CBS Sports report confirmed by Pittsburgh Sports Now. Alan Saunders of PSN also reports the Colonials considered the Metro Atlantic Conference a possible fit too. RMU is a charter member of the Northeast Conference, founded in 1981. Finally, the Steelers 2020 season will start in an unusual way. The NFL has mandated that all teams must conduct their training camps at their own practice facilities. That means for the first time in 55 years, there will be no camp at St. Vincent College in Latrobe. The Steelers will instead convene on the south side in late July. Keep it here each week for all you need to know, college and pro.